Hello everybody. I hope all of you are having a good day today. Uh, this particular segment of this video is for my YouTube channel only. Um, it's very risky for me to try to post something like this on my Facebook page. It, um, we are being watched and, uh, um, and that's not paranoia, that's the truth. Um, I'm not against anybody that wants a vaccine. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not for you or against you. Uh, I, I think that's a person's choice. If you choose to get the vaccine, more power to you. If you don't want the vaccine, more power to you. Okay, that, that's um, that's what I've always felt from the beginning. Me personally, I do not want it. Okay, I just don't. And and I don't think of myself as being selfish for not wanting it. You know, I, I, I've looked at the numbers. I see the numbers. I, I've been looking at the numbers since the whole thing started. And um, I made a video some time ago. I think it's called Trojan Horse or something like that. We did not, did not have a COVID problem in Mindanao until the vaccines came. We would hear a case here or there, you know, a rumor, you know, hey, such and such had it or this person had it, you know. But that was it. It was just, you know, somebody tested positive. You know, they, they started testing first and started scaring everybody with all these positive cases, you know. And they'd put us on lockdown and take us out of lockdown. Then these vaccines came and the, the hospital started filling up with people sick with COVID. Well, come to find out, they were all people that had been vaccinated or people in their families that hadn't been vaccinated, but they went home after they'd been vaccinated and the people got vaccinated or caught COVID from them. At first, it was saying, well, it was just a coincidence. That person had probably been exposed beforehand and all this stuff was well, happening all over the world. But the thing about it is, is that they're still blaming the unvaccinated and that this is where I have a problem with things. You know, if you want the vaccine, that's fine. If you don't want it, that's fine. But don't attack me or anybody else that doesn't want it and say that we're being selfish. Because in all actuality, I believe that, that the people who are hesitant about it or not wanting it are just waiting to see, you know, what is this? We're not just jumping into it, you know? And um, the president here, was calling all the unvaccinated people super spreaders and he said that he was going to make it he didn't care if it was against the law or not he would deal with the lawsuits later he said he was going to have the police force everybody that's unvaccinated stay inside their homes unless you want to come out and be vaccinated he said as far as he's concerned it's better that you die so basically he's saying he will force you and make you stay in your home until you starve to death or you come out and say hey i give i surrender i'll take the vaccine even though the CDC, Dr. Fauci and all them were all over the news the other day saying, hey, it looks like people who have been vaccinated are more contagious than people who are unvaccinated. It's all over the news, it's there. Something that I was called a conspiracy theorist and a nut job for a few weeks ago for saying, you know, but now all of a sudden it's, it's fact and, and that's true. But somehow or another, it's still the unvaccinated people's fault. Like I said, there was no COVID problem on Mindanao until the vaccines came. So now we've got all this. We're looking at vaccine passports here. They're already going to start implementing that in Manila, the Northern Islands on the 25th of August. You have to have that to go anywhere, do anything. You have to have it. If you don't, tough luck. We're in the process of getting some humanitarian IDs that uh, allow pastors and missionaries uh, unrestricted access to areas to move around and um, it may work for a little while until this madness gets even worse and they start mandating this stuff here in the South. Um, pray for us here, we'll pray for the world. The world needs it because this is getting a mess and it, it's, the people that, that are against this, this uh, elixir are enemy number one right now. And um, I'm just not gonna subject my family to that. I just, 
I've got my reasons. I've seen all the data. Most people have heard all the arguments. You're either for it or against it. It, it. it doesn't matter what I say. I'm not trying to convince anybody out there. Don't take it. I'm just saying why I'm not going to do it. You know, you know people are, are completely closed off and divided. There, nobody is willing to listen to anything. Me, I, I listen to both sides. And I've, I've seen people that told me I, I'll never get that, I'll never get that vaccine, I won't touch it. And two weeks later, <laughs> you know, you see them on Facebook and they're, you know, got fully vaccinated, you know, so you're like, what happened to you? What, what, what happened, you know? And they're all sick, you know. And two guys from church got vaccinated and, and the next day they were at church and their eyes all bloodshot and they were coughing and hacking and I was scared to death of them. I was keeping my mask on, it's like, you're a spreader. But the president called me a super spreader. Anyway, I'm just rambling a little bit here. It's getting a mess. Love conquers all. <laughs> I keep waiting, waiting for this miracle to happen. God showed me in the very beginning that this world was, it's already dark, but it was going to get darker and darker and darker as the years went by. And God was telling me in the spirit that, that, there's a purpose behind this. That people have to be stripped of everything that's near and dear to them. They have to be stripped of their idols, whatever that is, your religion, your success, your car, your home, your freedom, all that stuff, you've got to be completely stripped of it. And whenever you see you have nowhere to turn, nowhere to run, there's nothing else to go, people will look within. And that's when they're going to find the spirit within, the kingdom of God. So this is the process that has to go. And, I just would have never imagined in all my life that it would get this strange and this weird. I was thinking all kinds of other crazy scenarios whenever God showed me this about the world getting darker and worse and worse and worse. And this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> but uh, needless to say, we live in some major times in this world. God put us in this place, this realm, this place we call Earth, in the times that we were supposed to be here. Everything has a plan. God has a plan for everything. So if you're here in this time, I look at it this way. God, God puts in his A-team it, 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 when it's time to go. You know, let's roll. You know? <laughs> and uh, so if you're here now, it's a blessing. And um, no matter how strange, how weird it gets, love, love conquers all. Anyway, I love y'all. Later. What am I listening to? She came up to me and she said, Daddy, Daddy, listen. And she told me. She said, I told you. Like, you didn't get that from me. I don't know where she got it from. She didn't get it from me. I don't do that. That's why I'm protecting this girl. I love my baby.